Mikkel, with tonight's game against this Warriors team, just what has to be the priority for you guys just as a group? Uh, just just playing together, you know, on both ends, 48 minutes. Um, be game of runs, just got to be able to, with, you know, go through them and be able to out, go throughout the outcome of them. So it can't just, you know, fall when they go, you know, a crazy run. Just got to be able to withstand it and be better. Tonight you guys are looking for your fourth win in the last five games. Just what has impressed you the most? Just about how you guys have come together and just the way you guys have been playing. Yeah, just helping each other out, I think, on both ends, especially defensively. Just, you know, some mic is blown by, stepping up for each other and, and kind of playing team defense and offensively too. Just playing a game and, uh, you know, reading the right looks, whatever's open, take the shot. If not, just find the next teammate. How have you felt taking more threes these last few weeks? It's, it seems like Jock's been encouraging them more from you. How have you felt adding that more to your shot profile? Um, I mean, it's good. Just trying to keep just evolving in my game as much as possible, just adding to it. You know, that opens up everything else. So just do trying to do as much as I can offensively, try to where, you know, defense don't know what to do. Is it more of an adjustment? Because obviously, you know, threes have been part of your game, but you've loved the mid-range. So is it an adjustment taking more threes instead of getting to that mid-range? Um, no, I really is. I, I don't think, I don't know how the outside is looking at it, but I don't, I'm not taking threes because I don't want to take middies. I don't think that's, that's not a the situation. So I don't know how everybody thinks. It's just, you know, I just been working a lot on, on just pull up threes in general for a while, and it just feel really good. And you know how his defense is. The big might be back, so it just makes it. Especially if I'm liking the shot, I just won't shoot nothing I don't like, and I'm not comfortable with. It. And I feel like earlier in the season, even last year, I just wasn't that capable of making that many pull up threes as much as I want. But just feeling comfortable with it, just as more as I work out every day. That's why I'm just adding to it. It's nothing to do with takeaway middies. I love middies. I'll never take it out of my game. It's just, just trying to add towards you know my game. That's all. I know you touched on it a little bit, but. Uh... The way you and Cam have been able to manipulate the defenses simultaneously as opposed to whatever, taking turns, big yeah. game, big game. Uh, what's allowed you guys to get to that point? Is that just reps or something else? Yeah, just time. I think just time out there. Um, I think it was only, honestly, the beginning. Honestly, uh, just was more reps, more time. Um, but it's been good. I think just him being out there and that starting lineup makes it easy, too, where it, Kind of got two guys, and they got to worry about it, and um, you know, it makes it easier for our offense too. How would you just describe this time of year? Not only just talking about trade deadline, but also that stretch of the season where you're you've surpassed the midway point, but you're in that stretch where you're looking forward to hopefully some time off with All Star break, and then just trying to like balance, just keeping the vibes up and just staying focused. Yeah, just kind of. I think the biggest the biggest thing is just. So obviously everybody wants the all-star break, but you know, all-star break would be better if you, you know, feeling good after wins. You know, if you're winning going all-star break, it's a way better feeling than when you're losing. So I think that's a, a great mindset to have to, you know, finish out strong so you can enjoy your all-star break a little bit better. I know Ben is not available tonight, but what you've seen from him these last two games with his ability to help push that pace. What's the challenge now with tonight's game where you can try to hopefully match that without Ben? We just gotta. Uh, I think we just gotta know what we what we're gonna do, because um, it's different. You know, it's a different game plan. You know, when Ben's out there, so we just gotta be able to adjust uh, to know what we're doing offensively, defensively when he's not out there, because it's easy to have him out there and knowing that feeling, and then next game not having him and expecting it to be the same. It's not because he's not out there. So we gotta, you know, be able to adjust off that. Whether he's out there or not, I mean. I Clearly, you guys, you know, you made some tweaks defensively over the last month. Just how much more comfortable are you guys in terms of what you want to do defensively than you were, whatever, a month ago? Yeah, month ago. Uh, yeah, I think just, you know, be able to switch. Um, you know, that's, that makes it help for Clax. It's just tough when you go against the bigger bigs like Nurkic that, you know, if they just want to feed the big with smaller guys. But... A lot of teams don't have bigs like that. A lot of guys have bigs just to, you know, defend, set screens to get out. So it's very capable for teams like that where, you know, like last like your last last game, like they're not gonna play through Paul Reed because they got Maxie out there and they'll have Kelly and have guys to go score and tack. So 
it's a little bit easier when you have when you know the scout with guys and the coaches, you know, make it for a game plan. So we didn't get a chance to talk to you after the game on uh, Saturday, but just what was it like to get a win in Philly in a Brooklyn Nets jersey in front of your friends and family as well? It was good. I'm excited for him to be out there, um, see the win. Um, but no, it's just good. I think, I don't know, I think the whole narrative thing about the Philly thing with the Sixers is kind of, I mean, I've been in the league my sixth year now, so it's kind of, I don't even think about it like that no more. I just think about seeing my family, that's all. Um, and also, I know you sometimes share what goes into your like pregame playlist on your Instagram stories, but can you take us in deeper dive into like how you choose what songs you listen to going into a pregame or going into a game? Yeah, um, this is random, honestly. Whatever mood I'm in and whatever song, sometimes I try to pick a song I haven't heard in a while. And then it's just it usually be random a lot of times. 